Check this out. Hey now, welcome to Fox Fight Game. I'm Mike Straka, and we've got five rounds of action for you. We're talking Bob Sapp versus Bobby Lashley in Ultimate Chaos. We'll be joined live by Jim Miller and his trainer, Mike Constantino. Now the ballots are all counted, and it's only a matter of time before Oscar finds out who he's going home with. One of the most anticipated events of Super Bowl week is the annual Playboy party, the toughest ticket in town. But Christina Kimberly, you guys going to help me get in? We'll definitely get you in. Right, cool. Let's go. Come on in. The one and only New York's finest, Matt Serra. UFC, former welterweight champion of the world. Big yes. fight, May 23rd. The total 500 only, as the car says, on Fox. How are you, Tina? I'm good, how are you? I'm surprised you have time to make it here tonight. I'm taking the red eye home right after this. Don't yeah, you, you and me both, but I'll be in the back. I'll be in coach. I'll be in the front, passed out, drunk. That music is my cue, gotta go. Hey, take it, you know, you know, you know, you boy. First up was Fox News' Mike Straka. Three, two, one. <laughs> apparently, apparently the new taser still hurts. Uh, first, I want your reaction to that. And secondly, do you think Forrest Griffin is the guy who's going to bring the fight to Anderson? What can you say about the American dream? What does number 71 victory mean to you? Why a show about Peter Allen? I think the biggest advice, work hard. You have not made a film that hasn't grossed like over $100 million. What about no music underneath the scenes, which really added to the intensity of the, of the drama? You're talking more than 200,000 people here, and you, you're going to say that you're not impressed with that trophy? I'm Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Jennifer. How are, How are you? you? How are you, Harvey Firestein? How are you? Who's this sweet-talking guy right here? Three, two. Hey, I'd much rather be up here with Courtney and Katrina, and you can have Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> wow. What do you think of the fight so far? And the crowd is really, really into this, isn't it? Very into it. It's been a bloody night, and it's been lots of fun. You're watching Fox Fight Game. I'm Mike Strucker, along with welterweight champ, George St. Pierre, coming up on UFC 100. Did you ever think that a guy you met in 1985 who became the champion of the world boxer, who went off the deep end, who's basically widely known as a psychopath, would bring you an Oscar because there's no doubt in my mind you're gonna win the Oscar. Do you think if you were younger, would you consider the mixed martial arts game? Definitely, yeah. And Krokop is back with a win here, first time in Germany. We're with owner Lorenzo Fertitta. Lorenzo, what a great crowd here in Germany. First of all, how important is it to get this crowd and to put on such a good show? Randy Couture, obviously, Frankie had a, a really good game plan tonight, moving around a lot, right? Without Dana White, there wouldn't be mixed martial arts. He does, he runs a great business, there would and not he's got be, a lot of enemies. There would not have been you on that show pr promoting Fedor and, and Olaf. That was an affliction. Babalu. Yeah. I know it was. Yeah. But without without Dana and UFC, there wouldn't have been I think the Fertitis and Dana White have an incredible business, Fertitis. and I think... Is this bad news for UFC? Is it, is it, obviously, it's great news for Dream. What does it say about America that... You started where you start, now you're on national television, you're making good money, you're getting paid for what you love to do. You guys watched the movie The Crow? Yeah, yeah. That Completely, was, like 19 times. Yeah, me too. <laughs> like that movie affected me, you know? And it's funny, when I see your opening, I think of The Crow all the time. Awesome, thank you, man. Yeah, there's some, yeah. Yes. You know, you didn't you used to have a poster of the crow yeah, a long time ago? Yeah. Yeah. I still, my yeah. wife is laughing right now because I, yeah. I still have that poster. I swear. And right now she's going, you see, I, I told you to take it down. You're too old for that poster. Fight MMA Uncensored Live. And welcome, everybody. It is Spikes MMA Uncensored Live, the MMA show that pulls no punches. I'm your host, Craig Carton, and as always with me, retired middleweight Nate Quarry. Back again. And longtime MMA insider Mike Straka. What's happening? The lightweight division, obviously, it's in flux because of all the rematches with Frankie. Should Frankie have gotten a rematch with Ben Henderson, in your opinion? Honestly, I, I don't think he should have. You know, uh, he could make a case for it. Uh, he gave me a rematch. He had to give Gray the rematch because they had a draw. I'd like to see him, I'd like to see Benson Henderson fight Nate Diaz, fight someone else. Good job on that, Mike. Uh, obviously, both guys great fighters, both guys great wrestlers. What's the one thing you took out of spending time with both those guys this week? Both those guys are very confident. Daniel Cormier has improved in every aspect of his game. He's going into this fight very confident, but Josh Barnett has the most to lose and the most to prove. He needs to win this fight, he needs to be in the UFC, and he wants to win the UFC belt. Johnny Hendricks, do you think you should have got an immediate title shot? 
Uh, yeah, you know, I'd like to think that. It's been a couple weeks since you fought Josh Koscheck. Um, do you think you won that fight after watching that fight over again? Yeah, you know, I think if you take away that, you know, that eye poke in the first round, uh, he came with some heavy blows. And so I'd, I'd catch myself looking at the ground a lot, you know, just to keep a clear mind. And you take that away, yeah, I, I clearly, you know, I pushed the pace. I hit him with some good shots. Till next time, enjoy the fights.